also fame here. One of my grandsons, he played for the Gators, and now he's playing for the Eagles. My son, he played for Missouri, Kansas State, then Jacksonville Jaguars for a little while. These are some of my other grandsons that are headed up the ladder. This is Jeremy, which went to South Carolina. And the big boy here is Jordan, which I'm expecting great things for him because I know God going to bless him. With the family full of college and NFL standouts, Jordan knew his destiny. It was his time to live out the family dream in South Carolina. South Carolina says if you want to be a game cop, you have a scholarship to the University of South Carolina. I flip. We go home, I tell my mom, it's like, Mom, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to South Carolina, and they offer me. It's a really big deal, being that, you know, that was always the family dream. You know, all of the boys going to South Carolina, kind of following in my dad's footsteps, and, you know, continuing the legacy. I saved South Carolina for last. They were the last visit I took, and it was the only visit my mom got a chance to make with me. So, once I got here, it was like, I love this, I love that, I love that, I love that. Mom, I think I want to go here. My family was there, my stepdad went there. Me and my brothers, our grandma stayed there. We went there every summer. So it was just South Carolina and it felt at home. Most people don't get a chance to live their dream, you know. I, NFL was always an aspiration of mine. I played football, I loved the sport, so I wanted to go to the next level. But this was my dream, to come here, to play at this school. For my dad to get to see me play at this school, for my family to be in the stands, for me to wear 42 and have success on the field, just like Shed Diggs, it was my dream. And for me to be here, it's awesome. I still have moments where I sit back and be like, boy, I'm here. Y'all know what time it is, right? Y'all know it's game day, right? I wear jersey number 42, being that my dad wore 42 when he was here. Um, and it was it was a special thing for me. It kind of goes back to me just always looking up looking up to him and you know having so much respect for my father and the kind of man that he was. I remember putting the jersey on on my official visit, and it was like, yeah, this is me, boy. I'm gonna wear this number. So um, it, it also meant a lot being that you know my dad was in his situation. So I kind of felt like you know every time I put on that jersey, I was I was carrying my whole family on my back. I just felt that if I could some kind of way shed light on, you know, that and kind of sort of say restore my family's good name instead of everyone referring to Shed Diggs, you know, the, the, the guy that got in trouble and made some mistakes. They say, I remember Shed Diggs and remember he played in South Carolina, and his son's playing there. It was, it was more so that rather than just wearing a jersey. It was, it was way bigger than just numbers. I've never asked him, but I'm pretty sure me wearing that number means a lot to him and I would hope it means just as much to him as it means to me because it's special, it, it really is. And the Gamecocks have got it, it's Jordan Diggs. While he lives out his dad's dream for him on the field, Jordan hasn't forgotten his promise to his mother, making sure his future isn't NFL or bust. Um, South Carolina's been a growing experience from day one. It's, it's been awesome. Um, you know, just to come in and have a, a, a great, you know, academic support system and Maria Hickman and, you know, everyone working at the Doty and, um, you know, to have great coaches, you know, molding me and my mom, um, I think I was able to grow. Jordan has always been very focused. I mean, from the time he stepped on campus, graduation was something that we talked about. He wanted to know how he could graduate early. Is grad school an option? Internship? Um, opportunities. He's always had those types of questions. Um, so he's been a very hard worker, very dedicated, and very studious um, as a football player. Academically, I, I've surprised myself actually um, with the the great support support you have here, and you know all of the different resources you can use if you, if you need them um, to be successful in the classroom. Jordan, in my eyes, his biggest accomplishment, other than before he, before he graduates, because he will graduate, is the fact that he has been an academic honor roll since he's been at Carolina. The SEC honor roll um, is a big deal, and, and that's any student who earns a 3.0 or better in their season um, per their sport. And we have led that in the past eight years, and so that's a big accomplishment for us here in at South Carolina. I was able to, you know, 
excel on the field and, you know, live out my football dreams, but also, you know, get a, a great academic, you know, foundation and, you know, go on to get a degree that's big for my mom and me. The whole key was you give your dad the NFL, but I just want a degree. I just want to flood my walls. That's, that's thank you. I, I know I've done a lot of things right, and I think that, um, you know, other kids can look at me and say, well, you know, if he's got through this and he's got through that, if I push myself and I apply myself and use the resources I have here, I can excel as well. On the field, Jordan channels his life experiences into unmatched intensity and passion for the game. To be coming out and to really hear that stadium shake when you're in your locker and you know, this is just moments before we, we break it down and we get ready to come out through that tunnel and just to get in there and just see the smoke go and the music start to play. And to come out, it was just like, man, I, I made it. It was like, <laughs> I broke through. I've, I've overcome everything and I'm here now. He plays like it's just the whole world's on his back and he just got so much pain in him and you can see it on the field, that's why. He's good at what he's doing. His aggression just takes him to the next level. Just each snap I get is, is me constantly reminding myself, hey, you weren't supposed to be here. You were the kid that, you know, faced so many things. You could have easily did this. Play for all the kids that didn't get a chance to stay on the straight path. Play hard for, for the kids that played in part one or that, you know, veered off on the wrong track and wish they had this opportunity really cherish this and I just really try to relish in the moments when I'm out there and knowing that I got my father in my, in my corner and that he supported me and he wants the best for me it, it's going to be awesome just for him to be there you know physically be there he didn't get to you know experience high school ball with me even though I was having success he didn't get a chance to you know take those visits with me and have those father-son moments you know so all of the things we missed out on I feel like the emotions I felt when he missed those moments, they'll all be washed away just by him being there, physically being there. You know, for him to be at a game, it, it's gonna be awesome. Um, I think it's gonna be very special. I, I think it's gonna mean a lot to me and him.